Hey guys and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a cool Call of Duty background and the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to give a little shout out to my new gaming channel where I make Call of Duty commentaries. You guys can visit that at um, youtube.com forward slash shan demand and the link is in the description below. I make things like um, Call of Duty videos, uh, commentaries, life stories, just, you know, kind of like more like a personal diary. And um, it, it's just something I do for fun, but I would really love if y'all could support me in that. Uh, it would really mean the world to me. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this out here. And then I want to go ahead and um, apply some different filters to it. And we're just going to kind of create a cool background here. And that looks pretty good there. So now I'm going to get my eraser tool, bump that size up quite a bit bring that hardness down and just kinda go like this and just kinda highlighting that guy there we'll then go to image adjustments hue and saturation and just kind of adjust this to wherever we want it to be I'm thinking something kinda like that looks pretty cool so then I'm gonna go back over here and select this Come back up into here, select a darker gray color, and I'm just going to go ahead and continue using these blending modes. Just to kind of see what kind of effects we can get. Um, didn't really plan this out too much, just decided to kind of do more of a like um, overall, you know, type thing so that you guys can kind of just see. It's more of a um, watch me do it sort of. Thing, I guess we could say, and uh, I don't know, go either way on that. But um, yeah, guys. So on my uh, YouTube channel, I just you know really enjoy making um, the Call of Duty videos and stuff, and it's just it's been a real joy. It's it started off it's it started off pretty well. Um, so far, I've gotten like 200 and something subs, so it's definitely on its way. Um, but I, you know, like I said, I'd love for you guys to come out and support me in it and stuff, and um, we can go from there with that. And that looks pretty cool. And fill this with green and down to color. Now I'll go ahead and get rid of some of that saturation there. Maybe go ahead and get rid of this down a little bit. I want a little bit in there because it looks kind of like a halo effect, which is pretty cool, but I don't want the whole thing to just look green. Mm, I guess about like that looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to hold down shift, go up twice and over twice. And then when I do that, um, I'm going to change that blending mode to color dodge um, which is just kinda like that kinda gives it more of like a, this looks like it exploded almost which looks pretty cool and let's see here what else can we do we can go back to the original image and go to um, auto tone auto contrast auto color adjustments shadow and highlights That makes it a little bit darker. It looks pretty good. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to that's not what I want. Filter, render, lighting effects, and I haven't used this new tool in Photoshop 6 yet, but it works pretty good. And I think I want to need to open that up a little bit more. Kind of bring it more like that. That looks pretty good, so I'll hit OK on that. That makes it live. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and put this on there and 
as you can see here this is my youtube channel guys youtube.com forward slash shannon make sure to check it out be sure to subscribe let me know what you think on there and um we'll go from there so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little lesson and i will see you all soon